Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at borders on tables in Microsoft PowerPoint because there are some traps, there are some things going on there that can make it a little bit difficult or tricky to do. So I have a table here on a slide. Let me just select my table. It was just the default table basically that came with the slide. I just centered everything. Now I want to get this back to pretty much a plain table. So I'm going to the table design tab and to remove all of this shading and stuff, I can just click here on table styles and go to either no lines at all, or I can have just basic lines. Now sometimes basic lines just help you see where everything is when you're trying to settle what it is that you want. Now the first thing to be aware of is that if we didn't want lines here, for example, let's go to our table, let's go to table design, there's this option here called eraser and it looks like because it's in the draw borders area that it might just erase a line because we're going to draw lines in a minute using this tool so it sort of makes sense that this is the eraser. Well, it's not. What it does is it just jams two cells together. So what it is is a merge tool. So basically it's just going to merge two cells together. I'm just pressing Control Z to undo this. So be really careful of that eraser because it can do things that you don't expect or want it to do. Now as I said you can draw a table so you can go into the draw table option here and draw a table, draw the lines on your table. Now at the moment I've got it set to no border because no border is your eraser. So if you really want no border you just come in here with your no border and click on it. So that's how you get rid of those. Now if we want actual borders we're going to select a line. So I'm going to choose a line. I've got quite a heavy line, going to be easier for you to see. Let's go to pen color. Let's go and select a color from the document colors because that means if we change the document colors then the lines are going to change color. That, that sort of makes sense. My table is selected. If I didn't have my table selected, I wouldn't have these options available, so we know it's selected. I'm going to draw these internal lines here with this. Now, as you can see, it's already pretty time consuming to be doing this, so there is actually an easier way. What I can do is select over the cells that I want to draw the internal lines on. These settings are already in place and they will also affect this tool here, the borders tool, because when we open it up, you'll see that there's no option for selecting what sort of color we're going to use, what sort of line weight or anything like that. There's only where do you want your borders? Well, we want inside borders and we want inside borders using these settings here. And that's just what we've got. We've got inside borders. So those black lines have been replaced by orange lines. Now an outside border depends on what it is that you've got selected. So if we ask for an outside border on this area, let's just go to table design, let's change colors here so that we can see what's going on. Let's do a blue color and let's go to outside borders. I'm getting an outside border on what I selected, whereas in actual fact, maybe I thought I was going to get an outside border on the entire table. So let me just undo that with Control Z. If you want an outside border on your whole table, then you need to select your whole table because outside borders is outside of everything you've got selected. So now we've got lines around our table. We've got internal lines inside our table. Now we could change the line here Let's select over these three cells and for these three cells the line that we want to create is a bottom line. So when we go to table design borders what we would be looking is a bottom border but let's just change the color of it before we do it so we can make sure that we're getting what we thought we were getting. We're doing bottom border. So that's the way that you can create your own borders on table cells in Microsoft PowerPoint. Be warned that the eraser tool is not your friend unless you really do want to join cells together. Draw table is possible. You can draw the lines in your table but when you're doing an outside border it's really tricky to get draw table to work so I would suggest that you just set up your borders and go in and do it through the borders option. We've just put a line along the bottom of these particular cells. Let's have a look and see how we could put a line on the bottom of every one of these cells as well. Let's go and change our layout. So I'm going to still use my sort of orange color, but this time I'm going to use a dashed line and quite a thick dashed line. I'm going to disable draw table because I don't want to do it that way, but I do want to put 
bottom lines in these cells. Now if I just select this area and go to borders and then bottom border, this is what happens because again it's thinking this is the bottom border that you want for the selected area. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to back out of that. To do this we're going to have to select each row in turn. So we're going to bottom border for this and then bottom border for this. Because we selected bottom border last time, it remembers what you did last time. So you are going to actually save a little bit by just clicking on this button and you'll get the exact same border that you asked for last time. But it does have to be done row by row. But I hope that helps demystify some of the mess that you can very easily get into when you're drawing lines on tables in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.